Hello guys, Abraxas here, and we'll be playing Universe Sandbox. I've not actually played this game in a little bit, and I've been playing way too much Space Engine. So, I'm kind of wondering what would happen if we just replace the sun with other popular stars. So, let's see what we could do here. Let's go ahead and slow down time. Because we don't want everything taken off the second I delete the sun, so let's lower it down to seconds. In fact, actually, let's just pause time. Okay, so here we go. We got the sun sitting in the center. Actually, no, no, no. One second. I have a save of... Where is it? Yes, only named uh, planets in the solar system. This is for performance. So it gets rid of all the uh, miscellaneous dwarf planets that are on the outer skirts of the solar system. And makes it... Uh, perform better when I fast forward. So let's go ahead and slow down time again. And pause the game. Okay, so what do we want to replace the sun with first? Let's go with the biggest star in our solar system. Ah. We've discovered. And add. Let's see where we are the stars. There they are. Let's add. VY Canis Majoris. Oh wow. Okay. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> um where where was the sun? It was sitting right there. Okay, so immediately this is going to uh engulf Jupiter, Earth, Mars, Ceres. Oh man, Mercury and Venus. Okay. Yeah. So let's just place it. Oh, that's bright. That's really bright. Okay, so Saturn is going to be orbiting very, very closely, if not immediately pulled in. And then we have Uranus sitting very, very close to this monster of a star. And uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens to these uh, orbits. Something tells me everything is going to collapse into it. All right, let's hit play. Okay, everything is spontaneously brighter once I hit play, so that tells me that even Pluto over here... Yeah, it, it's kind of being destroyed. Zoom into Pluto over here, yep, yep, it's evaporating. is apparently still negative 226 degrees but uh yeah that can't be good up oh, pluto has been dissolved into a small asteroid it's losing mass very quickly up oh, there it goes up right into the star <laughs> Okay, do not put the biggest known star in the center of the solar system. Yeah. It, it's even, yep, yeah, even all the asteroids. Okay, don't do that. Okay, so I loaded up a new simulation. Let's go ahead and slow down time and pause it again. Let's uh, go ahead and get rid of the sun. And put our lovely favorite nearest star. There's Alpha Centauri, Proxima Centauri. Okay, let's put Proxima Centauri where the sun was. Which I think was right here. Okay, so immediately you could tell this is significantly smaller than the sun. In fact, let me put the sun next to it. Yeah, I don't think this is going to retain anything. I think everything's just going to fly off immediately. We might actually keep Mercury in orbit, but let's find out. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. Nope. Everything's gone. Okay. Yep, that did not have enough mass to actually keep anything in orbit, so everything's just taking off. Yep, everything's gone. Let's just speed it up a little bit more. And, like all the asteroids are just taking off in their own direction. Okay, so uh, Proxima Centauri could not hold anything in orbit in the solar system. 
poor little Proxima Centauri. Okay, so I got another solar system loaded up. Yes, I loaded the correct one. Okay, so let's add the North Star. Let's go ahead and get rid of the sun, pause the game, and we want to add Polaris. Also, I'm talking a little bit closer to my microphone and I boosted up the gain. Um, a kind person named Andre told me to basically make my videos a little bit louder because I, in my 100 or 1000 view video, uh, I had the gain turned down because I was trying to cut down on background noise, but it made the video a little bit too quiet. And I didn't actually edit that video, that was just a straight upload, so I couldn't actually boost the audio in post. So now I'm just going to be talking a little bit closer to the microphone, hopefully not peeking it out. And uh, let's see what happens when we have Polaris in the center of the solar system. Play. Looks like we already have things burning up. Uh, Vesta. Vesta was already just an asteroid, but yeah, it, it's definitely cooking away. That means Earth is not feeling too great right now. Let's go see what Earth looks like. It was frozen over for a second when I zoomed in there. <laughs> but the uh, north and south poles are completely up. Oh, there goes the ocean. Okay, so Earth is cooking away nicely. It's a nice golden brown. Let's go ahead and speed up time and see if it just evaporates Earth away. Okay, it's just turning into a giant fireball. Let's go ahead and zoom out. And let's see what's happening to Jupiter. Is it being evaporated away? No, but it is certainly burned up a little bit. It's definitely hot. For the most part, it looks like... Let's see what the orbits are looking like. Okay. So Jupiter has gotten a very eccentric orbit. Along with Saturn. That's not surprising at all. Let's see what Pluto is looking like. It's definitely climbing in temperature. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit more. Okay, so Pluto already had kind of like an eccentric orbit, but now it's really getting one. Alright, did we just lose Pluto? Where, where'd Pluto go? Um, I think Pluto might have actually gone into the star. That or is ejected out? No, Pluto's gone. So we have lost Pluto, our favorite little dwarf planet. Looks like we might have lost Earth too. I don't see Earth anywhere. We got Uranus and Neptune and... Yeah, we're missing Earth. We are missing Mars and Venus and Mercury. So it looks like all the terrestrial worlds have just kind of collapsed into the star. That or they've been thrown out, but I don't see them anywhere, so something tells me they've been basically eaten by the star. So that was Polaris. What else do we have? Okay, let's see what, uh, what let's see what other stars we got in our selection here because I know Universe Sandbox has quite a few of them. It does not have all of them, obviously, but let's see. All the known stars, I mean. Let's go ahead and get rid of the sun. Let's slow down time. Two hours. And let's add... I could add Polaris B, which is actually looking a little bit closer to the sun. So let's put that there and let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Okay, so we're seeing a little bit of shift in Mercury. Okay, yeah, it's getting much closer, so it definitely has more mass than the Sun. But it's actually keeping a rather round orbit. Everything's just kind of getting closer, but it's not really getting very eccentric. Go ahead and speed up a little bit. Actually, let's see, let's see what Earth is looking like. Okay, so it's a little bit of a fireball. It, just a little bit. It, it's only 1300 degrees, so I mean, it's fine. It, it, it's fine. Let's see what Mars looks like. You habitable yet? No. You're just, you're a little bit on fire. Um, 
What about Pluto? What's Pluto looking like? It warmed up a little bit, but it's it's definitely still frozen out here, so. It's definitely not like the other stars where it basically evaporated poor Pluto away. Pluto doesn't seem to be getting much warmer, it's just staying at negative 227. Let's go back into the star, and after a little bit of fast forwarding, it looks like uh, everything's actually maintaining its orbit. I don't see anything that's actually flown off, everything's just kind of adjusted a little bit. Earth is certainly not habitable anymore, in fact, uh, no, it's not habitable any at all. But it looks like it settled at 203 degrees Celsius. I could actually check that, let's see, view. zone yeah earth is earth is well within the uh too hot area of the habitable zone let's check out Ceres though okay Ceres is just an asteroid in this game but if i actually increase the mass there we go i've turned it into a planet what is the temperature of Ceres? negative 10 degrees so this is actually something i can work with let's see let's slow down the game real quick Okay, let's throw a little bit of water at it. Of course, Ceres, I'd imagine, actually contains a lot of water, but let's just work with this here. Okay, it appears to be, yep. Now it's just kind of cooking away. Um, let's see. Let's give it a magnetosphere. Let's give it a very strong magnetosphere. And now it's actually retaining water, it looks like. So, now if I can get the temperature up, this should actually Increase, so let's see, temperature, let's go to basic, and... Right, okay, let's turn up the surface pressure, and there we go. Now we have an atmosphere going on, let's just keep increasing this. Now it has the same atmospheric pressure as Earth, now if I fast forward here, we should start to see the temperature climbing. Ooh, lagging up the game here. Slow that down a bit. Might have increased it too much. Might actually get a little bit too hot. No, that's actually declining. In fact, it looks like it's going to probably even out around 10 degrees. So it's going to be a cold planet, but it has liquid water in an atmosphere and a very strong magnetosphere. I actually made that a little bit too powerful, but oh well. It needs to retain all of its uh, atmosphere around this huge star. So here we go. Uh, if magically Proxima B replaces our sun, we could just, you know, tweak Ceres a little bit and just go live over there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that was just a little bit of fooling around in the Universe Sandbox. I've not actually uh, played this game in a little while, so I figured I'd just give it a shot. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and leave it a like. And if you want to see future videos, go ahead and subscribe.